Well, clearly, I believe that the, the uh, bill was unconstitutional, and we had a real legal basis for that. This fall, Tulsa Public School Superintendent Dr. Keith Ballard raised concerns over spending public tax dollars for the private education of special needs students. But Dr. Ballard says his concerns are being addressed. We need to come together, uh, and, and we have already had some input through our state organizations, and we're encouraged. I believe that this should be and can be uh, resolved. During Tuesday night's board meeting, there was some brief discussion on lifting the moratorium for future voucher applications. Then a quick vote that was unanimous. So I will call for the vote, Mr. Percival. Aye. 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 Hopefully the rest of the boards will follow suit. State Representative Jason Nelson uh, wrote House Bill 3393. He recognizes the controversy surrounding it. Now that it is the law and the school districts are beginning to recognize that, we can really sit down and solve the problems that, are, that there are with the bill. Representative Nelson is trying to change the source of funding. He wants the money to come from the State Department of Education rather than the districts. State Superintendent Dr. Janet Barisi is also weighing in on the issue. It's very important that uh, districts comply with this law. If they have a concern, then the appropriate approach is to go back to legislature, legislators and discuss their concerns. This Thursday, Representative Nelson will file new legislation addressing the concerns. We'll find out in the next several weeks if his fellow lawmakers will make the changes.